hey what's up guys welcome to the channel um what i'm planning on doing today is just actually doing just a very thorough cleaning of the 66 chevrolet impala convertible um like i've stated in previous videos i've had the car about a year i just got it back maybe about a month ago and i've never washed and actually cleaned the car um one of the things that I do have to do actually is replace one of the floor pans which I have ordered a full new floor but I'm not gonna get around to that until probably late winter um, early January and with that said but I've all I can't stand the carpet that's in it now so I went ahead and ordered some new carpet and before I install the new carpet I did go ahead and rip up the old carpet as you can see to expose the floors just get all of that out of there because as you can see it's pretty grimy in here so i want to thoroughly just vacuum and uh just take like a deck brush and go through everything and just break up i got my handy deck brush right here and i'm going to go ahead and just break up like all of this scum and everything that's in here like if you can see in there like look at all of that like all of that has to come up and i went ahead and remove the rear seat as well as detach the back seat also as well so i can inspect actually my convertible top pump as well as the convertible top cylinders because i am gonna go ahead and uh, put some purple power and dilute it with a little bit of water and clean that up a little bit because it is pretty uh pretty bad and pretty grimy as you can already tell let's see but, but, I mean, these are original parts on here, so, I mean, I wouldn't expect anything less from a car that's about 53 years old already. Um, I went ahead and already removed this side. As you can see, I've pulled out the rear seat as well as that. I mean, I'm currently at, like, the gas station that's right around the corner from me. Just for the simple fact that I'm still working on getting the car running correctly and also... If anything happens, I'm right around the corner from my apartment. Um, on this side, see, this is actually the patch paint that someone else did in there, but I'm gonna, I got full, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and replace that. And that's just half the carpet. Um, I did wanna keep a little bit on the driver's side until I get it done. Um, this is inside the glove box. Yeah, that's a uh, old rat poo. So, but for this side, See, also I have a little bit of hole in there that needs to be addressed as well. For this side, what I had to do though, I had to go ahead and remove the screws from the sides, pull the seat back, and remove the screws from up there. And this will just actually just be able to just pull out really. See if I can do this with one hand. Yeah, that's easy to get out of there. Just gonna go ahead and uh, set this interior piece in there. And that way I can also thoroughly clean it. I'm not gonna put it back yet. But that way I can inspect everything in the corners also as well. And clean out all of the, and vacuum out all of that grime and just dust and everything else that's in there also so let's see how she looks after a good vacuuming and that's what 54 years of dirt looks like right there haven't vacuumed yet about to just finished clearing out everything looks a lot better though even under the seats down here got all of that all right guys big difference as you all can see little floor right there i mean the like i just didn't want to put a new carpet in and have all that trash underneath the floors until i'm ready to actually put the new carpet well, excuse me, until I'm actually ready to put the new floors in. Get all that from under there. There's no poo up here. So. Alright, 
I am going to put the interior back in. Um, I'm going to revisit these uh, top cylinders later this week and clean those up. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the pieces back in and go ahead and uh, clean the car.